It was the grandest ship to ever grace the world's oceans and following a hugely successful tour of Johannesburg, Titanic, the artifact exhibition is currently mesmerizing South Africans at the v &A waterfront in Cape Town. And it really puts a strong focus on the compelling human stories aboard the ship and featuring authentic artifacts recovered from the wreckage. And this morning, Freya Dreyer from Expo RSA joins us in studio to tell us why we should all go check it out. Freya, lovely to have you in studio. Thank, Thank you so much for joining much for us. Thank you for having me. This is very exciting. I know about the exhibition. It's been running for a little while now. It's it's yes. up until um, the 6th of March, Absolutely. so there's still time for people who hasn't seen it. Absolutely. Two months left. Two months left. But ever since, I mean, the tragic sinking of the Titanic 1912, I mean, it's been just mesmerizing people around the globe as well, especially with the make of the movie, you know, the Jack Absolutely. and Rose Titanic. Yep. Um, you know, but what makes this particular, particular exhibition a standout one? Great question. Well, obviously, it is, you know, a very special story in itself, but what mm. makes this exhibition particularly special is um, the artifacts, the real genuine artifacts that James Cameron and his team have been bringing up since 1990, mm. uh, five years after the ship was, was found, the wreckage was found. And we have those genuine artifacts on display, which is, of course, very, very special. But what um, we also love about this exhibition is that guests, when they when the visitors come to the exhibition, they assume the role of a passenger. So when you arrive, wow. you receive a replica boarding pass. You walk through the exhibition and then you go through the chronological journey of the Titanic. So the construction of the ship, then life aboard the Titanic, then of course the fateful night of the sinking of the ship, and then um, you know the the modern day um, how to preserve the ship. For, you know, for future generations to see it. So you literally kind of involve yourself in, in history, which is great. Absolutely. I love that, taking a step back. But I mean, I think many people's highlights from what I've heard as well is the, uh, the, the, the cabins that's been recreated, the passenger cabins yes. and as well. That there's an actual iceberg as well that's, yes. that caused the sinking of the Titanic. Yep. So you were talking about the original artifacts as well. What are some of the artifacts that's been recovered and that's on display? So we have about 150 artifacts for this exhibition uh, particularly. <laughs> Um, and we have everything from delicate perfume vials that have been rescued with still perfume inside them, um, oh. champagne bottles, um, shoes, um, leather shoes that have been conserved because actually leather, um, you know, underneath all that pressure has actually survived very, very well, um, to money, um, to, you know, a whole big range of yeah. things. So it's very special that, you know, we as custodians, Expert RSA, can keep, you know, you know, have them on display for visitors to come and see. So somebody going to the expo, you really get almost like a real feel as if you are literally stepping on board the Titanic. Absolutely, and we try and portray that story as, as, as well as we can. Now it seems like because you are going so far back in history with all of the original artifacts that this is something maybe that you know history buffs will be very interested in. Um, but I mean, can you can you can you advise you know I've normal folk as well who don't have absolutely, a connected you know, absolutely absolutely history, well. history buffs. You know, it's obviously that it's going to be more particular for them, but, um, you know, it's really for everyone. It's a timeless, timeless story that anyone can come and see from young to old. So um, we have special ticketing prices for, for all, you know, ranges. But um, in particular, we have um, a very advanced schools program where the creators of the exhibition, the premier exhibitions, have created three actually award-winning curriculums for primary um, middle and high school um, schools. And, and also I've heard that there's a lot of uh, rather South African connections to the ship. What are some of those uh, connections is. that we can look there forward is. to and seeing on this as well? Not just South Africa, but Cape Town. So oh, there wow. was a, a hotelier who was um, immigrating to Seattle. He was aboard that ship, um, William Thomas Solomon Brown. Um, unfortunately, he, he perished with the ship, uh, but his family um, did make it to Seattle. But we actually found his uh, pocket watch, oh, which is wow. on display here. So there's really a lot to see. We spoke about a little bit earlier on, as called the movie as well, just capturing yes. the imagination. Yeah. Is there a spot where people can have those those iconic Titanic moments? We do, we yeah. do indeed. We actually we call it the Jack and Rose pose. <laughs> yeah. So we have a little platform, just like like the film, yeah. where you can go and take or recreate your own Jack and Rose pose. That is fantastic. Yeah. And tickets for tickets for the expo. I mean, how can yeah. people get their hands on it? Uh, web tickets, okay. um, our ticket agency, or you can just buy them at the door, which is probably much easier. Brilliant. Freya, thank you so much for joining us this thank morning. You. It really sounds exciting. I'm definitely going to be making a turn there. But do yourself a favor and take a step back in time. Go check it out. It is the Titanic, the Artifact Exhibition. It's at the V&A Waterfront in Cape Town and it's open up until the 6th of March this year. It sounds absolutely incredible. Right now, it is. Well, it is that time to find out what is still ahead on your Feel Good Breakfast Show.